I'd like to take a few minutes today to talk about cold starting one of these large tractor trailer units. The easiest way and the best way I find to cold start these things, and, and I live in Canada so I know all about cold starting a truck. The easiest way to do it is ensure that the vehicle is plugged in. Now when you do plug it in you should make sure that the oil is cooler, the engine is cooler. If you plug the uh, the truck in when the oil is still hot the inside of the plug can um, almost bake like a charcoal substance on the end of the plug from the oil cooking around it as the as the oil cools and that that charcoal substance gets into the oil pan and can cause engine damage so when you do plug the truck in make sure the the truck is cool now when you're ready to use it you should uh, plug it in uh, oh an hour at least before you want to fire it up and frankly the, the longer the better something else that's important always in the winter is to have a good set of batteries you should make sure your fill filters are fresh and clean and that you've got good fuel in the tanks now a lot of the fuel in the states these days is is biodiesel and i found that it gels more easily than the old stuff used to so these days when i'm fueling for cold weather in the states i always add a, a bottle of conditioner while I'm fueling, while the, f the fuel is warm going into the fuel tanks, I find that mixes better. So keep keep a good fuel conditioner and, and add it to your tanks in cold weather. Uh, I also find it helps to carry methyl hydrate for those times when just, just nothing else is working to help clear the water out of the system. Uh, there's some other tips that you should do when, when prepping your truck for, for cold weather operation. After you after you've fired the truck, uh, you should check to make sure that the belts are spinning properly, that the alternator is charging, that the air compressor is functioning properly because all these things are bothered by extreme cold. Often your windshield washer fluid will, will freeze up a little at the ends of the wipers. And the easiest way to cure that is just to put your thumb on the nozzle for a few minutes and, and let the heat from your thumb clear away any ice at the end of the, end of the nozzle and then, and then check them prior to taking off. A lot of fellows uh, like to use APUs or or preheaters uh, for the truck to get them going when they're cold. I've I found my own experience with APUs has been that they're awfully expensive to purchase and they can be very expensive to repair and that seems to be part of the problem with them is they they break down fairly regularly. Also, they're heavy. The pre preheaters work just fine as long as you don't leave them running too long because they're draining your batteries. So if you're going to use a preheater, don't let it run for more than an hour before you cold start the truck or your batteries will be too weak. Another trick you can use if all else fails is to give the motor a little shot of ether. Now you have to be very careful when you do this, but uh, it does work successfully if done properly. And the best way to go about that, rather than squirt into the breathers, is to take your turbo pipe apart right here, just unloosen this clamp, and wiggle uh, your screwdriver in into the rubber piece here between the rubber and the metal so you create a little gap. Take your ether, and while well, someone else cranks the motor for you, just give it about a two second shot. Not very much at all. You don't want to blow the motor up, you just want it to inhale a little bit of the ether and sometimes that'll be just enough to make it kick over and catch. And if you don't have ether, uh, sometimes even an aerosol can, like WD-40 for instance, the aerosol itself will help kick start the motor. But as I say, you don't want to give it more than about a two second burst because you don't want to give the motor a heart attack off this stuff, you just want to give it a little bit of, of a jump. Uh, one of the last things to remember too is when, when you're cranking the truck to start it, shove the clutch in so the, the cold motor isn't trying to crank over the transmission at the same time it's trying to crank over the pistons and get itself going. You're taking some of the pressure off when you push in the clutch. Finally, let the motor warm up for a little while. Don't take off when the motor's cold. Let the, let the coolant get warm, let everything circulate, let the oil get warm. Give it a good warm up. and. Uh, Keep an eye on your gauges, check your filters, make sure your filters are, are not plugging up. 
and that's it. <laughs>